everyone in society, not just sex workers. If you're going to have any type of interaction, use a mask, wear your mask. And that's the same advice given to sex workers. With us today is the president of the Adult Industry Association, Mr. Charles Lewis, better known as Charlie Spice. And the reason that we're speaking to you today is because once again, the country has found itself in a situation where we have curfew measures, curfew measures that could um, be extended, measures that could be made more stringent depending on our COVID-19 situation. So I just wanted to start you off by just telling me exactly who, um, the entities, the bodies, the persons that the Adult Industry Association represents and the challenges okay. that they're facing as a result. Okay, the Adult Industry Association is an organization I started about four years ago. And I had thought of starting this organization about 10, 11 years ago um, as a result of being aware of all of the atrocities and the, the darkest side of the, the sex industry in, in terms of uh, human trafficking and forced prostitution, child prostitution. And my idea behind launching this organization was to develop a, a sustainable initiative to address these problems that, that are faced on a daily basis by people in the sex and adult entertainment industry and to, to create solutions. And I'm proud to say that we are now represented by a membership force of over a thousand individuals all over the world. And we've got experts on board such as psychologists and uh, therapists we partner with police departments, uh, immigration departments, as well as government entities or agencies that deal with the adult entertainment industry. We, we partner with them as a, on a consultancy basis to help them develop initiatives and interventions where problems exist within their, their uh, markets. Okay, now the challenges that the industry is facing. You haven't said how many members you have here in Barbados because you're speaking more specific to Barbados, but the challenges that the industry will invariably face because of a curfew, like an 11 to five curfew, which as we know is when quite a bit of the activity surrounding the, the adult industry takes place. Of course, uh, the challenges that people in the sex industry in Barbados face as a result of the curfew and other protocols are pretty much the same as any other professional in any other industry because the hours are shortened, because uh, the ability to generate revenue is diminished because of that. Of course, they're going to suffer from a loss of income. And um, I've found from the previous curfews that sex workers in Barbados are now supplying their trade much earlier in the day to compensate for the fact that they're closing down at, they have to be off the street or out of, out of operation at 11 or 12, they're now starting at three o'clock in the afternoon or 11 o'clock in the daytime. So there's a lot more activity during, during daytime hours. Okay, but, but specifically in relation to COVID-19 though, there is an argument that says that this type of work is more likely to expose persons to the type of contact that will allow COVID-19 to spread. How, how, how then do we reconcile calling for an industry like that, you know, where in some cases, total strangers are coming into very close contact with each other. How, how do we, how do we um, make an argument that says that this activity should be allowed to, to continue in a COVID environment? Firstly, I would like to state that Sexual contact between partners and or total strangers exists outside of the sex industry. In mainstream society, there's so much rampant sex in Barbados between strangers uh, of, from people who are not in the sex industry. So, uh, so whatever measures you're putting in place to combat the impact of that, we can also use to you know for the sex industry. But again. It's all about, it's about education and it's about enforcing protocols. The people in the industry are more prone to adhering to protocols because our sex is our business. So we have to protect ourselves. You, I find that people in the sex industry are more cautious when it comes to sex than some University of the West Indies student 
who gets drunk on, on some type of rum or alcohol, and they don't know who the hell they had sex with last night. So, or whether, whether or not a condom was used. So I disagree with the sex industry being the, the perpetrator or potentially being the perpetrator of the spread of, of any disease versus mainstream society who are yeah. less careful than people in my industry. Yeah, but I mean, how, how do you, how do you um, draw the comparison between sexually transmitted diseases and COVID-19? COVID, COVID is spread, or the, the spread of COVID-19 takes place in, in a way that is so different um, in terms of, oh, yeah. you know, droplets, um, yeah. saliva, contact mm -hmm. that's too close, some person sneezing in close proximity. Yeah. How 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 do you how how well, how do we're not we're not workers, going to how do employees in the sex industry ensure yeah. in the same way that they would protect themselves from STIs that they protect themselves from COVID? Well, I would suggest they apply their training with, with a mask on, <laughs> and, and perhaps, perhaps. This is serious advice. Uh, well, I mean, but that is the advice given to everyone in society, not just sex workers. If you're going to have any type of interaction, use a mask, wear your mask. And that's the same advice given to sex workers. So I do agree with you. It's not, it's, it's not a, a direct comparison, but um, we use the same protocols and procedures to minimize the spread within the sex trade as society. I've, I mean, we, you know, we go into bars. I mean, people in mainstream have encounters uh, on a personal level with people and end up having sexual activity. And they too should also use the protocols and uh, guidelines suggested by the COVID-19 manual. Because you're not going to stop people from interacting, let's face it. Thank you so much. That was president of the Adult Industry Association, Mr. Charles Lewis, better known as Charlie Spice. Thank you so much for joining us on Barbados today.